We've had two versus one, three versus one, four versus one, five versus one, and we've even had tandem versus one and tandem versus two. Yeah, all right, we get the idea, but can a tandem with two people beat a top spec TT bike with one person? Two people, double the power versus a super aerodynamic TT bike. Let's find out. Now you might recognize this tandem. This is the bike that Mark Beaumont and Hank attempted the Land's End to John O'Groats world record on. And if you haven't checked out the documentary on that, make sure you do this over on the GCN Plus. Oh, it's absolutely epic. And we've also seen Simon and Hank put this bike through its paces, riding some of the steepest climbs and seeing if they can hit 2000 watts of power. But today, well, it's our turn, isn't it? it Man is. and I are going to put this bike through its paces, riding it fast to try to see if we can beat the aero king, Oliver Bridgewood. And um, who's going on the front? You or me? Me? I was hoping to go on the front. Well, how much tandem riding have you done? Oh, I've got no experience. Me neither, so there's only one way. Rock, paper, scissors. Um, three, two, one. Three, two, one. You won. God, this means I have to stare at your ass for 15k. People pay good money for that. <laughs> now, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I'm feeling pretty confident in this challenge. This Orbea Ordu TT bike is absolutely rapid, and I feel like I've got seriously aero on it. So it's got a few modifications since you've seen it last time, most notable of which is this custom-made 3D printed titanium bracket that Watchshop has kindly done for us to tidy up the cockpit and the front end and just make it very clean very aerodynamic. We've also got a new 81 uh, Metron front wheel on there and also another Vision Metron disc on the back, all carbon fibre, very quick and then some nice Pirelli TT tyres, 23 on the front, 25 on the back. This bike is so quick to ride, it just feels incredible. Whereas those two clowns, oh God, have you seen them? Plus, that bike wasn't even designed for them. It's got 44 wide bars on the front for Mark Beaumont. They're going to be really slow. For our challenge today, we've come to the Cotswolds village of Sherston. Our route is simple. It's 15 kilometres out and back to a small mini roundabout at the village of Malmesbury. And then it's a shootout to the finish. Right, we're on the start line, ready for the big event. Um, Ollie, are you warmed up? No. Manon? Yeah, I'm ready to go. I think I'm ready to go. So Manon and I are going to set off on our time trial course and then a minute behind us, Ollie's going to set himself off and then uh, he's going to chase us down. Should we get on the bike? Go on then. Yeah. Right. Oh, God. See you. Yeah, see you. Uh, right foot in first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, are you going to bring that foot up or what? Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. Oh. oh, God, there we go. Go, ready? Yeah, go. Get aero. That's what Ollie would do. We're doing good for a pair of novices. <laughs> That's terrifying. Right, I'm going to chase him down. Let's do it. Oof. I'm a bit surprised that the tandem isn't as fast as I thought it would feel. No doubt, Ollie is going to be as aero as he can be. So, we've just got to give it our best and cross our fingers. Just got a glimpse of him. Oh. We're coming out to the turn. Oh no, right, better. There you go, go. Power! Power of two people! Yeah! Hat tandem is so slow on the turn. Yeah, oh God, we can't let Ollie catch us. We definitely were not quick on the turn. Ah. Oh, of course, we had a tailwind on the way out and a headwind on the way back. I've tried to keep 
a little bit of power in reserve to see if we can hold off the Aero King. Come the last bit. A few more minutes. Right, power man on. It's the last little rise uphill. Hundred meters. Hundred. Really there. Ready. Yeah. Ah. 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 <laughs> ah. Right, just done it. Oh, good job. <laughs> My hands are so cold. <laughs> ah. ah, that was actually so hard. <laughs> oh, God. You got so close to us on the turn. Ah. I'm glad that's over, to be honest. That, that was, was disgusting. That was so hard. Disgusting. Uh, <laughs> I'm we feeling didn't, confident. We didn't feel like we were going that fast. There were times when we had good momentum and speed. Downhill. But downhill. The rest um, of the time it was pretty sluggish. It was sluggish, but we tried really hard. I mean, I gave it everything there. <laughs> I could literally taste blood in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, well, most of it, I was terrified to look behind. I did glance behind once and I was like, you were quite close to us. And I was like, oh God. Well, I'm feeling confident, but I'm not going to know the result until I get my phone and upload it. So I've got ours in front of us, so I'm going to keep it a secret right, for now. Let's get, let's get a coffee or something. Should we going to get warm? Hot chocolate. Oh God, it's freezing. Right. It's I four degrees. Get back on it. Right, come on, jump back on. Right, results time. Before we reveal the results, um, Ollie's just getting warmed up. It turns out a skin suit's not that warm in winter, so you've had double hot chocolate and a nice <laughs> yeah. little blanket. Yeah. So you it's like a grandma. <laughs> <You do. laughs> Oh well. I'll we'll um, be laughing in a minute. Anyway, right. Uh, shall I go first with our time? Yeah, hit him. Um, 22 minutes and 44 seconds. Um, Not bad. I'm quite happy with that. Are yeah, you? I'll take that. I mean, I went full gas, so. We can, we can do it better. Laugh, Why are you laughing? 22 minutes. Oh. Two seconds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. We did a good job. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Considering, oh, actually, yeah. when you consider Nee Roberts have ridden the tandem before this morning. Yeah. And it's not exactly um, optimising a time trial setup, is it? No, no, we had no customers. Well, we got a winter kit on. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've not ridden a time trial bike for at least three months. Oh, here we go. So, oh, yeah. here we go. again, not optimised. But not a very scientific experiment, but I guess we do, do draw the conclusion from this that, well, a time trial bike Significantly rapid, faster. They're just rapid. Yeah. 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 Tandem, not so rapid. Great Especially fun, though. on the hills. We had good fun, didn't we? Yeah. Great banter. Yeah, well, in that case, um, we have proved that a time trial bike is faster than a tandem. And I guess if you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and let us know what you think of mine and Manon's effort in the comments section down below. And what's next? What else can we do on a tandem? Yeah.